Good morning. I'm Megan Sanfis. I am the Executive Director of the Kentucky Office of Broadband Development, and I am going to talk today, another talk about broadband, but I'm going to talk about how uh, we as the State Office of Broadband Development will determine which, which areas and locations are eligible for bead funding. So I'm calling this Understanding the Bead Challenge Process. So the bead challenge process will determine the universe of locations that are eligible for bead funding in Kentucky. And like other speakers before me have said, we have $1.1 billion to spend through the bead process, and that will be matched with local and provider contributions. And so we, will, we are looking at over, well over a billion dollars in investment in broadband and on top of what has already been invested through the ARPA funds that, that the state and other programs have put forth. So these are the steps that we're gonna to use to determine the eligibility. So all the locations that are eligible must be contained in the FCC fabric. That is the, the newer map that the FCC released last year, um, which move from a census geography based map to a location specific map. And then we will categorize the locations as served, unserved or underserved based on the service that exists there or um, things like planned service or existing grants. So then we will take all of the locations and go through a deduplication process where we, um, we'll take out locations that have existing enforceable commitments like grants from uh, a state program or another federal program and those will be removed from eligibility and uh, other, other reasons why things could be deduplicated is if they are um, already planned for service by a provider and plans are in the underway to build there, um, then those will not be eligible for funding. And then we'll open up a challenge process. Um, the unserved, underserved, and served locations and community anchor institutions like schools and libraries and hospitals will be um, published in an online portal for the public to look at and for um, challenges to be put forth. Uh, Nonprofit organizations, units of local government, and internet service providers may submit evidence to challenge the eligibility determination on those locations. Um, and so if there's an individual that wants to challenge the service at their location, we can work with a local government or a nonprofit um, to get that submitted so that we can consider that uh, as part of the challenge process. So the reasons why a location could be challenged are, are these, the availability, um, the, whether or not service actually exists there, the speed that's reported, if, um, if a location is reporting a higher speed than, than, than is actually occurring there, then that is a reason for a challenge to be filed. Latency, data caps, the technology type that's there, um, whether a location is served with a business service only and not a residential service is a reason it could be challenged, uh, the enforceable commitments, plan service, and whether or not a community anchor institution is included. Those are the reasons that we, are, we will be accepting challenges. And then there will be a rebuttal phase for um, the service providers to um, rebut or sustain the challenges that were submitted through the portal. And then we will, um, we will have our team look at it and um, d uphold or reject the challenges that have been filed. And then once we go through this process, that will determine all of the locations that are eligible. The goal is to get to everybody. And uh, then after that, we'll open up a, um, our grant rounds. So we're looking at conducting this, this phase in early 2024. Uh, we, 
it'll probably be about 120 days long and then we will roll right into the grant process. And we have a year to determine how we're gonna spend that $1.1 billion. So it's going to uh, move very fast and be uh, quite a uh, huge undertaking for, um, for Kentucky. And we're looking forward to the impact that this will make on our residents and um, you know, we're, we're just here to, to get this all, all done quickly and um, it's gonna be an exciting time and we look forward to your participation in the challenge process. We will need everybody to look at these maps and make sure that we are correctly identifying the service available at every location so there's more to come on that. Um, so, like I said, we'll have the competitive grant process. We'll identify all of our, our subrecipients the next year. If we have no proposals for certain areas, we will be able to then at that point negotiate with internet providers um, to serve those areas and look at alternative kinds of technology. Um, if, you know, if fiber is not feasible for those locations, that's what we'll do. And um, that is how we're going to spend $1.1 billion. And that is all. Thank you.